So for those of you who actually watched all of part one, I'm going to try to talk a lot less in this video if I can help it. Um, it might be a little challenging, but I do want to say a couple things that are pretty important and starting to rain. Um, but uh, basically, in case you didn't watch part one, uh, I put two trusses up there and screwed them together and then screwed a lever board onto them. Uh, it's really important to have two trusses because if you try this with just one truss, uh, the truss is you know, it might break in half because uh, they just they don't have a lot of strength when they're sideways. They only have strength like this, right? So, um, so anyway, don't try this with just one truss. I tried it and it felt like it was going to break in half. So, uh, here's the video. Okay, part two. So anyway, um, yeah, I've got the oh yeah, I got the pole sharpened right there. So it's really important to have couple things. Obviously have your drill on hand or within reach, which it's not right now, but I'm going to grab it before I go over there, uh, before you try to pull the lever down. Because if you pull the lever down and you don't have everything, uh, you know, you can't just run and get it if you're by yourself. You know, you, you have to you have to secure that lever as soon as it's down. So in order to do that, you have the poles, the screw gun, and screws in your pocket. That's what I got in my pocket. And also the ladder has to be, obviously, this is kind of probably pretty obvious, but it has to be out of the path of the lever. So, but it can't be too far or else you're not going to be able to reach the lever. So it's got to be like just within, you know, anyway, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to do it. So, everything's got to be within reach of you, you know, holding the pole and being able to reach or, you know, you know what I mean. Anyway. Okay, here it goes. Within reach, Ugh, at least of your foot. Okay, now it's semi-secured because it was kind of wanting to push back that way, at least this one was, but it's not fully secured till I get a full tripod on there. So I can take my hands off it for a second, but don't, uh, don't take your eye off of it. I mean, you don't want that thing doing some flopty and falling in your head or any crazy business like that. So anyway, I'm going to put this one on next. You see I'm jamming them into the ground because I've sharpened the edges. Now it's pretty secure, but still you want to do a full tripod because you know you just tripods are really secure. They're great. Tripods are a wonderful tool. And if you live in the woods, they're free. Okay, so as you can see now, that is not going anywhere. I am shaking it back and forth, and it is not going, it is not moving at all. So, or, well, it's, you know, moving, give or take a quarter of an inch or something, but that's it. That's how you uh, raise, uh, well, that's not it. I mean, I'm still still trying to, um, now i got to put the um, other boards up and secure them together and do some other stuff. But that's how you get the trusses up by yourself, at least. Or at least that's how I'm doing it. Um, okay, maybe I'll show more video, or maybe I'll do some more video in a little bit uh, once I 
figure out the next exact step. Okay, so I realized I did do one thing wrong. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, right up there, there's a red mark. Uh, here, I'll go a little closer so you can see it. Uh, there's my red mark right there. Yeah, and then there's where the truss is. So the truss is actually supposed to be uh, over the red mark, and there's no way, since that tripod is carrying it basically to the ground, there's no way I can really move this without, you know, having it possibly topple over. But since I have two trusses, that's okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to secure some uh, purlins across from this truss over to the end truss, um, the one on the outside. And that'll be like a temporary securement. And then I'm going to unscrew these two trusses and then move this truss just a little bit that way, uh, which... Hmm, I gotta think about that some more. But it seems like I could do that. Um, yeah. But the reason I did that wrong was because I had, for some reason, I had anticipated rolling it this way instead of rolling it this way. But, uh, I don't know why I anticipated that, because... Oh, it, well, it's because it's cause that's the way that I rolled that one. But this one I rolled differently. Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. I've got four trusses up on the roof in the right position. I think, I hope, that that's, you know, three quarters of the battle. But I don't know. At least half the battle. Maybe a third of the battle. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I since I don't exactly know what I'm doing now, I might uh, hold off on the video for a little bit. But I'll let everybody know how it goes. All right. Bye.